And then you guys have been doing very cool, um, cool innovative things uh, at, at, at your system um, on the ferry house adaptations. If you can share a little bit of that and, and the impact on, on pre immortality. mortality. Sure. Um, yeah. So if anybody attended layman conference this year, Mark Schwartz, who's our director of production, um, shared kind of this novel approach that we've been implementing in a few farms in the farrowing house. And what that technique is called is a multi suckle common creep. So you might see it labeled as MSCC. Um, and what Mark did is after um, a sow farrows and piglets have received claustrum, we start pulling not only the side dividers, but also the front dividers that would connect that crate to the alleyway in front of those sows. And we can connect up to 12 to 24 sows at a time. And um, we level out the floor so that the piglet can walk right out of that crate, really across, across the aisle to any other crate. And um, these piglets will nurse off of multiple sows all day long. And we move the heat lamps and the creep feeders to that middle alley, which in turn draws pigs away from mom um, for a warm resting area. And this uh, solution really came out of Mark's frustration in seeing laid on pigs all the way through the suckling period. So a lot of times we think of maybe think of Leon's as a low viability pig who's trying to nurse and get warm. And maybe that only happens in the first few days. But I think if we dig into the data, we understand that laid on pigs really can occur all the way um, through, through farrowing. And um, that's because these crates were designed for sows that had litters you know, 10, 15 years ago, uh, which were three, four, five piglets less. And so Mark's idea was to allow more space for those piglets um, and also allow them to find uh, their source of nutrition, essentially nurse on, on any sow. And we have seen a, a, a fairly significant reduction in pre-weaning mortality. Mark is um, working on his thesis at the University of Minnesota right now. So he's about halfway through a, an official study for that, but field data or just data from our sow farm would show a reduction in um, pre-weaning mortality anywhere, I'd say from maybe five to 8%. Again, still preliminary data, but um, we're excited about what we're seeing.